blessing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest upon you and your household on this Saturday morning. Good morning. It is Pastor Joyner and the faithful members of the Philadelphia Fellowship coming to you today with the Family Legacy TV broadcast. We're yet focusing in the concluding word that took place on Resurrection Sunday. And we believe that there is a resurrection for the family. As we celebrate in this month of April, the investment and interest of the family. The stone has been rolled away, but there is a message from the angels that we return to right now and trust that you shall be blessed by it. We'll be back in a moment and enjoy this word. You had in your life but, 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 but at, at the words of Jesus spoken within his three year ministry more than just on one occasion did he let these women and others know that, 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 that I, can, I, I didn't come here to stay but I came here to, to prepare a passageway back to my father's house and, and, and here he's already made the passive way and, and, and as he has gone and these folk come to where he was buried the words of the angel ask them why are you looking for the living one here in the cemetery why, 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 why do you think this is the last place that uh, you're going to find him and in a sense, in substance, it says, we were not prepared for what he said. We, 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 we were just locked in to the last place where we've seen him. And the last place we saw them taking him was off the cross. Down in that, uh, that, 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 that tomb of Joseph of Arimathea and lay his body there. In that grave. That's the last place. Look at somebody and say, well, it's time for you to get another thought pattern. It's time for you to, to, to conceive another, another level of living. There is life beyond where we are placed when we take our last breath. There is life when it seems as though our dreams have been dashed and our hope has gone. That there, there is life. Be beyond the periods in the sentences that we seek to complete. There, 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 there is life. I wish somebody would just say there is life. There, 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 there is life with an exclamation point. There, there is life as a, 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 a declaration from the, from the God of life himself. There, 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 there is life beyond the grave. This old body must go to where it came from back to the mother earth, but our spirit go to be with the one who breathed into Adam's nostrils and nostrils of Adam helped him to diffuse this breath all over his body and it gave him life and not until oh God, this breath leaves our body does it go back to the father which says, look at somebody beside you and say, I'll never die this physical frame may go back to the dust, but I'll never die. The real me is hidden behind this hair, behind these eyes, <laughs> beyond these clothes. The real me, the real me, the real me is in touch and has a relationship with the everlasting father. The real me has an unbroken relationship with the, with the everlasting one. The real me. My God is not subject to all of the ups and downs of life and living. That's the flesh me. But the real me, my God, is in touch with the one who said, I'm from everlasting to everlasting. And you better not forget that. You got to release your affinity to the words that have been spoken. Now, the Holy Ghost, Lord help me here. I said I wasn't going to be too long. The Holy Ghost is the mind of God. That helps us think the thoughts of God. And to live the life of God. But just like President Obama has a secret servant or secret service battalion. That helps him everywhere he goes to protect him. We have some protection. 
that, 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 that honors the words that we speak. I wish somebody would hear me. We, 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 we have a, 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 a secret service battalion. That, that, that helps us. And when, when David says goodness and mercy, they're the chief persons in this uh, secret service battalion. Uh, have, 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 have you ever heard the Holy Ghost tell you one thing? And then you ultimately say, now, say, say come on angels. You got to bring this to pass. Goodness and mercy are ministers, invisible, that help provide internal architecture to the external design that God has in his mind to be released for us. <laughs> God has an image of us. Our words help to shape them and we have ministering angels who have guided us in that fashion. Even the devil knew that we have angels on our side. When Jesus was going through his temptation experience, he told Jesus to jump off the temple. And Jesus said, man, what you talking about? He said, well, the word said, your father said that he would give charge to angels. <laughs> to protect you, to hold you up, lest you come to the bottom of this mountain, of the top of this temple. And you end up falling under the authority of gravity. And he said, you will, not, you, 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 you will not even dash your foot against a stone. That, that, that your words are able to design the kind of life that, 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 that you believe the Holy Ghost can lead you into. And the, mini the, the, the ministry of these angels, y'all don't hear me talking. Then our, 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 our forebearers knew that music of angels. Lord help me here when they said <laughs> all night all day angels are watching over me and when they came to that point where they were ready to die they said I looked over and saw a band of angels coming after me <laughs> angels yeah goodness and mercy uh, Help, 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 help Carolyn, help Carolyn Miller to still be alive. Yeah. Had to jump the car, but her body, though bruised a little bit, was protected yeah. Yeah. by the power of angels. Similarly to Shadrach, Meshach, and the Abednego, Jesus took on the form of an angel even before he was born to Mary. And when Shadrach, Meshach, and the Abednego were going down to the bottom of the furnace, it, it, it was the angels that threw their arms around, <laughs> around Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And by the time they got to the bottom of the furnace, instead of them burning up, they had a hot prayer meeting. Nebuchadnezzar had to get up off of his throne and say, I thought we threw in three. But now I see four. And the fourth one looks like the Son of God. Why? He looked like him because he had taken on the image of an angel. Y'all don't hear me talking. Early this morning, Lord help me here, while you were somewhere between twilight and morning, God stopped by in the form of an angel on resurrection morning and said, why are you looking like you ain't got nowhere to go? Why do you perceive that this just is another Sunday? No, did he awaken within you? Get yourself to the house of God because I'm celebrating angel power. I got some glory to release in your life. I have some practical direction that you ought to take in order that you can fulfill your destiny beyond death, hell, and the grave. The same areas that Jesus defied in his submission as the Lamb of God, you now have entered into it by reason of faith in him. It was faith that woke you up this morning. Faith that started you on your way. And you ought to declare, my faith looks up to thee, the Lamb of Calvary. Savior.
will be returning to this morning's word in just one moment. Just wanted to give you an update uh, and to uh, invite you as well to our every day worship. We get our day started 6 a.m. every morning, well, Monday through Friday, right over hotjoyradio.com, as well as the telephone line, and you can watch us right over our Hot Joy website. Just click in and the TV will come right up, okay? We get started from the sanctity of the altar. Start our day in prayer and seek God for guidance and deliverance throughout the day. 6 a.m. every morning, right there over hotjoyradio.com. Big Ronnie has it running right across the street, the screen now. Each Wednesday night, we're in online Bible study as well, right over our website, that same one right there at Hot Joy Radio. You're able to tune right in with us wherever you are, uh, on your iPad, right over your uh, computer, on your iPhone or what have you. And this Wednesday night, we're going to be continuing our theme in uh, the investment and interest of the family and covering Come and See from John chapter 1, verses 35 through 42. Wednesday night, 7.30, trust that you will join us. And as always, Sunday morning, uh, right there at the Murray Center, until y'all, we break ground and... From these recent weeks, we will be breaking ground on a couple of more weeks if the city come on and, and join us in uh, making sure all of the uh, items for the permit has been granted. Uh, but uh, Sunday morning, every Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m. at the Murray, the Murray Center, 455 East Brambleton Avenue in the city of Norfolk, Virginia. Our book of the month, again, the Year of Jubilee Family Legacy Ministry. That's where all of our growth for families, our development for families, our directives for daddies and mamas and our children is right here in this booklet. And that is what we even follow here on our TV broadcast. Trust that you will release that $10 support seed and when you release that support seed we're able to continue to bring you these inspirational broadcasts to help you get started on your Saturday mornings and the duration of the week the year of Jubilee family legacy ministry a biblical initiative to connect families for a brighter future ten dollar donation to the ministry Big Ronnie has the information where you can follow right there, and we look forward to sharing it with you. To all of our uh, sowers and our covenant partners, we thank you so much for your monthly support, aiding and assisting us in keeping this vibrant message coming. Unto you, we give God all of the praise. And now, back into our message, or Big Ronnie may have another message for us right now. Well, let's get this message then back to the world.
And from this day, be holy, holy thine. I just need you to be my holy one. The angels said, he ain't here. Stop, stop looking for the living one in dead places. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop talking about I ain't got nothing else to live for. Stop, stop just living to the, to the will of man and submit yourself to the power of God. God's power raised Jesus from the dead. But before Jesus died, he spoke that I will live again. He spoke it and it came to pass. Do you believe you'll walk again after that surgery? Do you believe that there is life after cancer? Do, 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 do you believe that God can pay your mortgage off even though you're facing foreclosure? Do, 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 do you believe if God shuts one door for 808 Providence Road that he got a better one? <laughs> do, do, do you believe that your address is on God's blessing list? Now, 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 you can determine the outcome of, of, of whatever is close to you by the words you speak. Don't you know the power of life and death is in your tongue? Watch what you say. Watch who you say it to. Watch what governs your mouth. Because God is ready to open your mouth with a resurrection power. Ah, oh, anybody know that Jesus lives today? Anybody know that the Lord is is, is Lord as never before? Anybody know that there is practical and practicing power? In, 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 in the Prince of Peace? Anybody know that I ain't just come here today just to, just to be sitting beside you, but I came to give what I've got. I've gotten a glorious word that my angels work. My God, they, they listen to what I say. And, 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 and they're going to bring to pass what I say. Holy Ghost, Work in the name of Jesus. Jesus, work under the authority of your daddy. Angels, help me to be so intelligent about what I say that I make sure I govern what I say by what's in your word. And, and, and when, I, when I govern myself by what's in your words, I know that you're going to take my words that are full of life and bring new life into my life. And when you bring new life into my life, old things will pass away. And behold, all things shall become new. I, I have a new mind. I got a new thought. I, 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 I have a new step. I, I have a new faith. I have a, a new belief. And if resurrection means anything, it means that you ain't got to live the way that you've been living. That there is an abundant life. There is an abundant life giver. Why are you looking for the living one in the cemetery? The cemetery is for dead people. But we are living beyond the grave. Yeah, we got to go back to the dust from whence we came. But there is a spirit that was not dust derived. And since it was not dust derived, it was spirit given. We go back to the one who never dies. We go to live through the power of the one who never dies. We are gonna keep right on living. We are gonna keep right on singing. We are gonna keep right on believing. And what day knows me now is many more days that I'm going to meet. Because the one who is from everlasting, and he's on his way from, to where he's on his way to. And in the cycle of empowerment of God, I'm on this road with him. I shall never die. I wish somebody would just say that today. I shall never die. I'm attached to the one that nobody else gave him his start. Nobody else is going to be there when he comes to an end. Because there is no end in him. And since there is no end in him, how did it get started? The book
Bible says that he is self-existent. And in him we live, we move, and we have our continued being. This saga was not over on Friday. This life of Jesus was not over on Friday. This life of the master was not over on Saturday. But early, I wish somebody would say early. Early this morning. Yeah, they went looking for him and he was not there. Yeah, he was already gone as our perpetuation. Already presented himself as the lamb slain from the foundation of the world before Father God who receives all of our offerings. And when he received Jesus, he looked down at earth and said, every last one of y'all that believe on him is going to get the same kind of commendation I'm going to give him. And what commendation did Jesus have? He said, I have He made it, and he made you, he made me. Uh, Psalm 24, 1 says, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. He wants you, he wants me, to know peace and the purpose for our lives. He said in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thoughts that I think toward you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected in. But when we read all about the trouble in the world, we soon realize that something has gone wrong with the world and there is something we need to be cognizant of. You were created to please God. God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Genesis 1, 27. Instead of living your life or me living my life as I think it ought to be lived, we have pleased ourselves long enough. Isaiah 53, 6 reminds us all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. But is there a receiving after we've gone out and done what we have, you know, participated in? Jesus died on the cross for us. We just celebrated it. And Romans 6, 6 says, Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. So he took the punishment that our sin deserved. And through his death, we were forgiven. John three sixteen, you know it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Come on, turn away from your sin and receive Jesus as your savior if you have not. Become a member of his royal family. John 1, 12 says, But as many as received him to him gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Would you join me in this moment of prayer? Repeat after me. Dear God, I have sinned and I need your forgiveness. Please forgive me. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. I believe that Jesus was buried in the grave with all of my sins. I believe that three days later, God raised Jesus from the dead, victorious over all of my sins. And now, because he lives, I live also. I believe this in my heart. I confess it with my mouth. And the scripture says that I shall be saved. And right now, I believe it, and I say it. I am saved. I am saved. <laughs> we, we bless the Lord for receiving you as the latest entry into the kingdom of God. I, I want to hear from you. 
I, I want to hear from you. If you made that declaration this morning, I want to hear from you. If 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 if, if, if you just feel like calling, and I, I need somebody to call me this morning from Eastern Shore or from North Carolina, over here in the Hampton Roads area, I need somebody to call me and just say, Pastor, everything is all right. Call me now at one 866 540 0745. I'm waiting for your call. I'm going to answer it. And until next week, this is Pastor John of the Praying Members of the Philadelphia Fellowship, believing God for a great week for you. Until then, may the love of God be yours. God bless.